I have to leave in 10 minutes and the outfit I originally planned didn't work out, so we're changing. Oh my god, I look, you look like a grandma. Denim, oh, I don't know. Oh, yes, yes. at the last second actually end up to be really really cute oh yes okay I am feeling myself well should I just be a fashion stylist should I just quit YouTube it is self-care day guys the last few weeks of my life have been so hectic even right now I can feel myself falling asleep I just feel so exhausted I'm in probably the busiest period of my life in a long time and so a lot of my usual habits and routines have gone out the window so I decided to make today just committed to turning my brain the f off I'm gonna get my nails done I'm gonna get a haircut today I'm gonna take myself on a solo lunch date and then tonight I have a very special date night with my boyfriend no, I'm not opening a laptop today. It's not happening. I might go to a cafe, but just to get a matcha and read, that is it. There is no work that's going to be done. And this is probably going to be my last like break day for the next month. So I'm really going to make the most of it. I'm honestly so excited for date night tonight. My boyfriend is taking me to the ballet. I am going to head out because I'm very late for my reservation to go and grab brunch at a new restaurant I've never tried. Today is just all about the fun. It's all about the relaxation. Let's go. You know what, I never used to be a fan of this bakery, but I am pleasantly surprised by this Avo toast because the restaurant that I planned to go to was closed. So I guess this was meant to happen because this is actually really good. Really good, thank you. My haircut appointment is in 30 minutes. So I actually get to enjoy this nice and slowly. For yesterday and all the days before that and all the days to come, I woke up at like 8 a.m., filmed a video for my YouTube channel and then had lunch and from around 1 p.m. till 11 p.m. I was just writing and then I get into bed by like midnight, knock out, wake up and do the same thing all over again and so like the work-life balance is just out of the window and it's just a lot and I think that's why even though I technically had enough sleep last night I literally feel like my eyes are closing and I'm shutting down as a person but I'm not too mad about it because I know it's only temporary. I have literally three weeks left before I submit the book completely finished and then yes I'll be an entire editing process but I'm like in the thick of it right now and I'm actually making significant progress I'm actually so proud of myself I feel like I'm a bit of a uni student again with the whole like waking up writing just working for hours on end but this time I'm actually not procrastinating I've actually incorporated all of my time management techniques and they are for real paying off because I'm getting so much done in such a short amount of time I'm gonna grab a quick iced latte so that I can sip on it while I get my hair cut because I need energy so badly. So I'm going to this place. Hiya. Pardon? Good, thank you. How are you? Um, can I order a pistachio iced latte, please, with coconut milk? Do you take Amex? Perfect. <laughs> I 
I'm at my usual place, James Bushell in the mailbox Birmingham Harvey Nichols. I have a pistachio ice latte and I am gonna get a trim. All I'm looking for really is a little trim. Mm -hmm. And then I always get um, face framing layers around just so when I have a ponytail like this, I can leave yes. bits out. Yes. So I guess maybe if that's touched up as well. Yeah, that's fine, no worries. How long has it been since you've been in there? I think maybe four months. Which is pretty good for me. I used to go like a year between haircuts. Really? So, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Gonna get my nails done. Okay. No, um, you know, I've really been meaning to come here though. Every single time I get my haircut, I'm like, oh, it's, it's a reminder where I'm like, oh, I need yeah. to get my nails done there. Uh -huh. um, no, it's at this place called Townhouse. Oh, hi. I the other day. Yeah. And you know the day you came here for a haircut? Yes. And you tagged us. She yeah. She came in and she's like, she's everything that I want to be. I want <laughs> Oh no! Oh, she came last week. Oh, oh my god! I love that. Oh. Skincare lot. Yes. Like twenty set routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sure. it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we got so far. Just trimmed everything. She added some layers in, and then we're gonna do a blowout. We're almost done. She's just pin curled my hair, so I get a nice big bouncy blowout. And while I was getting my hair cut, I actually just got a text from my boyfriend saying he's literally five minutes away. He's meeting a friend, which I didn't even know. So we're gonna go say hi to him after as well, which will be a very nice surprise in the day. This pistachio ice latte has saved my life. I actually feel like my normal self again. So I'm ready to have a great day. We've had some cute conversations. Then we get my hair done, I mean my nails done afterwards because they are in desperate need. I'm actually running acrylics right now. I'm gonna get these taken off and I'm gonna try out a new nail salon which I'm so excited to see. It's like the bougiest place ever and get just polish on my natural nails and ha just have a little break from my acrylics. So excited! <laughs> this is my favorite part, the front bit. We're about to do that. When these two bits fall, that is when the magic happens. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah! It just looks so good. It's always perfect. The volume. Oh my god, it smells so good as well. That's the oil. I love it. Thank you so much. You did such an amazing job. No worries. It's your Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh yeah. The confidence every single time I walk out of that salon is unmatched. But now I am going to go meet my boyfriend. Literally just for like five 10 minutes before I run off to my nail appointment. I'm so excited. Even though I'm supposed to meet my boyfriend later for a date anyway. Can't get enough of him. So let's go. Yeah. This, is, this is very like. But. Is this too loud? No, nah, this is the big fucking thing is a microphone. Alright. There you go. Put your mark, yeah, yeah. on I'm something like an old man. Just had a lovely catch up with my boyfriend and his friend. I've got my Uber and now it's time to quickly get to my nail salon appointment. I am actually killing it today with the time management. Hi, Fatty. Yeah. Turn left onto Granville Street. Hiya! I have an appointment at 1.30, it's for Tam. This place is so cute. Just checked in for my appointment. We have had different colours over here. Oh, I love that. Um, we can actually 
Yeah, and so these cool. are going to be done in chrome. Obviously, it, dep it depends on what kind of colour you're wanting to go for. Almost like the glazed donut effect. That, that is exactly that what I was going to ask That's for. Like, do loads of people come in asking about yeah. the kind of Hailey Bieber nails? Yeah. Some of them can be a bit warmer tone, so it just depends. Amazing. We have acrylic done right now. Okay. Pink base, sorry. Is that the pink base? Yes. So this is just a hand cleanser. This is 69%. It has different hydrating acids in there also and a touch of coconut, if you can smell it. The nail plate and then cause a lot of issues with the nail, which yeah. makes the nail concave like this. Yes. So Senior nail artist, a professional <laughs> nail artist. Just finished at the salon, got my acrylics completely removed, and now I'm left with these gorgeous chrome nails. We kind of went for the glazed donut look, but with more of a pinky sheen. I'm literally the only person in the salon right now. I've been sat here for almost three hours because they have a really long and rigorous process to remove your acrylics in kind of like the safest and healthiest way for your nails. So it was a long process, but I love the result. This isn't Biab or anything, it's just gel nail polish. We went for like a super nice sheer nude with a pink chrome as you can see super cute <laughs> that's me done that was such a cute and chic and bougie girly experience to spend the afternoon i'm so in love with the final result now my original plan was to go to a cafe to read for a bit but because that treatment was longer than i anticipated the cafe is literally closing but what's so cool is that's the salon right up the street is one of my favorite hotels in Birmingham probably my favorite it's the bougiest and my boyfriend and his friend actually went there and because my boyfriend knew at the salon I was at he was like, oh we're spontaneously at this hotel so you should come join us for a drink and I just love spontaneous meetups I don't get to do it very often because I'm always working so I'm gonna catch up with them because we had such a nice chat at lunch Um, ratatouille okay. and I'll see how I do with that. I've only had breakfast and one avocado yeah, toast and a coffee. I love it. Huh? You order for the vlog? No, you can order for me. I remember yesterday. Oh, swing. This is so cute. Yay! The volume you like. The dish, the Where it's like, it's like effortless. <laughs> you all said from the last vlog that you hated the fish island, so I have listened to your requests and we're back to the normal one. Um, so yeah, I appreciate the honest feedback so that I can make these videos as good as possible. But I am a bit sad that the Fish Islands idea didn't work. However, for future vlogs, when it's not so hectic and I'm like running around all day, I'm gonna integrate it. So I'll do some clips with Fish Eye when I'm out and about, especially in a setting like this, where I kind of want you to see more of the room. Um, and then for general things, like when I'm talking or doing my makeup, I'll use this lens most of the time. Love you. discovering new parts of Birmingham. I mean, you know, people are probably gonna watch this like, why is she so gassed over this? <laughs> I haven't been here before and it's so close and Chinatown's right there. And this is the restaurant that he planned. Wait, is it? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Um, and the theatre is literally right next to this restaurant so we're just catching up about live before we go and see the ballet together but this is insane mm.
it's the interval and I couldn't record anything because you're not allowed to record in here and to be honest if I get caught with this camera I'll probably get kicked out but it's so good we have 30 minutes left that was my first time experiencing the ballet and it was absolutely amazing my boyfriend's just here stretching his legs like an old man because he can't sit for too long uh, but that was incredible like the talent that you see with just the music and the movement just got in the car we are both so exhausted it's like almost 10 p.m and our first experience with the ballet was interesting i really liked it i thought it was very very impressive you really liked it up until act two there were three acts and i feel like we were just so tired anyway because we've been up so early that we were getting a little bit sleepy especially this one but I loved it. I would definitely go see the ballet again. It was such a cute, unique day idea. My boyfriend's going to drop me home now before he heads home as well. And then I am going to go straight to sleep because another part of the self-care day is just getting more sleep because it's back to work tomorrow for the foreseeable, for the next four weeks. Just straight every single day grinding. You probably won't see another self-care vlog for a while. Just productive day in the lives. But if you want to see anything in particular in those, comment down below and let me know. And good night.